Hey YouTube. Hey, this is George with Cherry Creek Refrigeration. Um, talking to you today about finding a leak in a cabinet. Sometimes, you know, you can go through the whole cabinet and you can soap bubble and never find the leak because it could be inside the coil. This is R290. And so these coils have gotten real thin and real small um, so I can't find the leak so what I did is I took the system apart took off the suction line and took off the capillary tube soldered the capillary tube shut and then solder a stem into the suction line and then on the compressor I put just one piece on the suction line and put a gauge on there on this new stuff don't go over 200 pounds of pressure because these coils could crack and be bad um, then I soldered the stems off of them but I've already previously pressure checked but I couldn't get the pressures right um, couldn't find any the soap bubbles to go anywhere and then I couldn't make the leak detector ring anywhere so that's how you pressure test and so what you'll do is you'll put 200 there 200 there and then you'll come back 24 hours from now and whichever side drops you'll replace either the condenser or the evaporator coil and if you do the evaporator coil you might as well do the line set going to the coil so, there it is. Thanks for watching. Bye.